Well, we're with uh, Mike Husby right now. Mike is one of the uh, pioneers. Tell us a little bit about it, Mike. Well, I was very fortunate. I, I came to uh, Michigan in 1981. Uh, March 11th, 1981, and it kind of changed my my whole career because uh, I was at a, a, a facility, Mishaway, wonderful, and then uh, we were on I-75, and and then some great things happened uh, right after that. We uh, we formed the Gaylord Mecca, and and then Harry Melling moved to town, and the rest is history. <laughs> well, there's a few more pages than there's that. A few more pages, <laughs> but I'll tell you when uh, in in 19 um, in the mid 1980s when. When uh, uh, when Rick Smith called and said he was interviewing for the job out at Treetops and and all the different things, because Rick and I went way back before that, and and then Harry brought in the the, the wonderful Treetops Resort, it really really created a boom in, in which uh, I was grateful to be part of. And what uh, Gaylord you mentioned that you're right on right on I-75, so that was a, a pretty good stop. That was a, a critical. Um, we had uh, a tremendous uh, soil there, and and uh, the pr price of property was was uh, affordable, and and it just uh, it just seemed like uh, a, a great great opportunity, which it was, and it and it expanded extremely fast because of those uh, demographics that we had there. Now, usually when uh, somebody tries to start an association, get a little more publicity, it, it's kind of uh, tough going for a few years. How was it at the at the beginning of uh, of the Mecca? Well, it, it went very fast for us, and I'll tell you why. Um, we had um, uh, Governor Blanchard, who was an avid golfer, and he really got in behind um, promotion of golf in Michigan. Uh, he actually played golf at Michigan. He and uh, his former wife did, and it was uh, a wonderful experience again for me, but he was a tremendous uh, supporter of golf, and so he helped fund it a little bit as well, and uh, and then we all merged together, and, and and as I said, the rest is history. It really went fast. And, uh, and now uh, uh, Pure Michigan, how has that done for you? Phenomenal. Uh, hats off to the legislature for, for putting that program into place. It, it really was needed, Jack. Uh, it is helping uh, promote our state. It well, this is the 25th anniversary of, of the uh, Mecca, and, and I think there was something maybe even a couple more years before that, and you had some out-of-town writers up there, too. Yes, we did. We, uh, we had the, uh, I believe it was the International Golf Writers Association yeah, that came to Gaylord, and that was a tremendous uh, for us. And uh, I, I remember that, that era when I was involved with developing Marsh Ridge and involved with developing the Loon Golf Club and helping Keith Gornick a little bit over at Otsego Club. And, and it was just uh, one, of those, one of those things again where it, all the pieces fell into place. You had Harry Melling, you had Governor Blanchard, you had the golf writers and, and a great location, I-75. It was, a, it was a, a match made in heaven. Well, and some pretty good designers, including you, had your hand in a in a few of them up there. <laughs> yes, yes, I did, and I was again. I'm grateful for the opportunities that I was given uh, to be involved in a, a, an area that had, you know, Robert Trent Jones, my idol, and uh, you know, Fazio, and of course Rick Smith, and it was just great to be part of. And uh, how does the, does the excitement go on? It does for me because uh, the facilities will uh, always be there. Um, the, the pride that I have uh, in Gaylord uh, for uh, the 26 years that I lived in Gaylord, um, it, was, um, it will live with me forever in my experiences of my life, uh, those opportunities and those facilities that I was part of and being part of that association. Well, give me a, uh, your uh, thoughts on a couple of your favorite holes that you had a, you had a shovel in. Well, I would say uh, the par five number five at, at the Loon, uh, tremendous golf hole um, that uh, wraps around um, around Lake there. That was a, a, a number 18 at the Loon and number 18 at Marsh Ridge, both of which are spectacular uh, finishing holes with water in front and and the clubhouses in the background and kind of the niche I had for a while was to do that and I and I and it, and it played out well. Now how about that was isn't there a par three there at the at uh, Marsh Ridge that's uh, a well, downhill shot? Number 10 yeah. number 10 and you know there was a uh, Marsh Ridge was a was formerly called Nordenham 
and uh, changed the name to Marsh Ridge, set up on a ridge, and there was a lot of marshes there. So there, there is, um, not only is number 10 uh, a spectacular par three over the marsh down the hill, but number 13 as well, and and uh, it, it, it just, it was a lot of, a lot of marshes there, and um, it was a unique golf course to design. It was never, Marsh Ridge was never designed to be a, a, a championship golf course. It was um, a fun golf course, a cute golf course, and one that you would enjoy playing. That's what it was, a number 10, of course, at Marsh Ridge, the Downhill Par 3 special. <laughs> but you know, I will tell you, Jack, I, I designed a special hole there, but Jack Bott made it special. The owner of Marsh Ridge, allowing us to put in the, the rock garden and the different colored flowers all around there. And he made it just a, he gave me the funding to make it a special, special par three. Well, it's, a, it's an eye catcher when you come along the uh, highway there. Yeah, yes, it is. So again, I, I was, I did design the hole, but Jack Bott finished it. <laughs> How about a few words about Jack? One of the most unique men I ever met. I miss him. He uh, was a, uh, a tremendous uh, uh, person to happen in my life. Uh, again, the opportunity that I was afforded by, by him and, and uh, by the former owner of, uh, of Marsh Ridge, uh, Jim Kohler. Uh, those were two individuals that really helped a lot. And Jack, Jack really had a flair for making it right. Um, it wasn't good enough just to have the golf course. It had to be right. It had to have the flowers. It had to have the appointments that really, again, at the time, it, it played perfect for the help to Mecca grow because Marsh Ridge was a unique golf course. And uh, so is the whole Gaylord, uh, whole Gaylord area. Very unique. Um, again, the, the price of price of poker really changed dramatically when treetops opened. It really expanded us into different markets because it was such a unique golf course with the topography changes. And then of course I, I was involved with, uh, we were so doing so well at Mishaway that we ended up having, having by demand to build another golf course. And then the late course um, that I developed uh, with architect Jerry Matthews was another spectacular golf course up and down uh, off the ski hills and, and vistas and views and so that was pretty good jack that was pretty good